What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Patriot Arms channel. Today we have the Tethos B9R carry. Tethos is uh, entry into the uh, uh, 1911 or uh, 2011 double stack 9mm and uh, this is the actually the mag from the uh, Apollo 11. Here's the two mags that came with it. And uh, so that first uh, mag, I did not oil it up anything. Um, if it does malfunction and it looks like it's really dry, I'll oil it. But it doesn't doesn't look like it's super dry. So uh, I did a tabletop review, so you can go into or go watch that to see all the details on it. But uh, that was the first mag. It was uh, Venom, 115 grain Venom. Uh, decided I had that originally for uh, my stockpile, but uh, somebody I posted a video of me putting it in there, a shorts video, and they could, somebody commented and asked about how it's been treating me because they've been hearing mixed reviews. So I decided to bring it out and shoot some of it see how it does and uh, so let's keep moving on i got 10 rounds of winchester loaded up here let's see how it does I am noticing that it is shooting low. I'm having to aim about the top of those plates to hit to hit them. So uh, I'll have to check that out and see see how how much low it's shooting. But we're also uh, probably 30 yards. So oh, and this is uh, federal. So far, so good. I'm going to run a mixture of a bunch of different ammo. So the first two were uh, 115 grain Winchester, 115 grain Federal Red Box. So I'm going to run uh, some Buffalo Cartridge Company Adrenaline, 115 grain. Next, we got 115 grain uh, Blazer. We got 115 grain mag tech next. I'm gonna do 10 rounds of each. Just uh, do an ammo test, see if it'll feed anything and everything that we throw at it. And uh, first up, Buffalo Cartridge Company. Ah. Failure to eject. So we had a failure to eject on the Buffalo Carverage Company. I don't know if uh, that's gonna, I don't know if that's the ammo or if it's the gun. So we got 115 grain uh, blazer. That ran flawless. Got 115 grain uh, Mac Tech. Up is 124 grain Max Tech. All 
Now we got 124 grain BPS parabellum, 124 grain. Okay, we got 124 grain Aguila. First up is Aguila, 124 grain. Hundred and twenty four grain uh, BPS Hundred and twenty four grain Max Tech. Okay, we got uh, 10 rounds of 124 grain Remington range, and then we're going to do a full mag of the Venom. Oh, shit. Failure to eject again. One of these screws is coming out. Uh, I'd have to get a tool and tighten them up. Can't really tell if it's dry or not, but we'll see. Well, I've had two failures to eject so far, and the screw is coming loose for the holding the hood down. I think I'm going to let it cool off a little bit, take it apart and oil it real good, see if that helps. So we've already got 110 rounds through it. Um, we've got two failures to extract. Um, I think I'm going to let it cool down a little bit, tighten this up, and uh, take it apart and oil it, and see how that, see how it runs from there. So, okay, so we let it cool down, and uh, I tightened these screws up, I took it apart, it didn't look like it was too dry, and Technically, I don't think that should matter if it was dry as far as uh, failure to eject. So, we're going to continue. I got uh, all three mags loaded up with Winchester 115 grain. So, let's... So we got all three mags loaded up with uh, Winchester white box. There we go. There it is again. Failure to check. Another one. Again, another 
another. So this is with the Apollo 11 Checkmate Mag. Let's see if it does the same with the, the Tethos magazines. I don't know, is it the magazine or the ammo? I lost count to how many. Well, we had a good run going. I'm not even going to try this last mag. I don't know, is it the. I'm going to try some Federal. Load one of these up with the Federal. Okay, let's try Federal. Okay, well, let's see if it does it again with the Winchester. It might just be the ammo. Yeah, I'm going to blame the ammo. I'm going to blame the ammo because it didn't do it on the Federal. So, uh, let's do another mag of federal. Okay, I got another mag of federal. Let's see if it does, see if it runs good on this again. Okay, I'm going to blame it on the ammo. It doesn't like Winchester white box. I'll have to figure out where these sights are actually hitting. <laughs> Okay, I got 10 rounds of 124 grain max tech. Let's see if it works. Flawless on the max tech. Let's try some home defense ammo. Okay, so we got four rounds of uh, arms core, 124 grain jacketed hollow points. Let's see how it handles this. Well, seems to feed that fine. Four rounds of 115 grain jacketed hollow points. Let's see how it handles this. Pretty good, all four hits.
We got five rounds of Winchester defense, jacket or hollow points. See how it does. Failure to eject. Anything with the Winchester name. Appar apparently anything with the Winchester name, it is not liking. Okay, so we got uh, 124 grain Hornady XTP. Five routes loaded up. Let's see how it does. If it likes this. So we got four routes of uh, 124 grain plus P, ready defense from Winchester. Some uh, ordinary looking ones. It's 124 grain plus P, so let's see if it fits and ejects this stuff. Yeah, I can tell the difference in the recoil. Well, fed that stuff fine. All right, so we already got well over 200 routes through it. I got three more mags ready to go. I'm gonna dump this, see how it does. This is all uh, venom, 100, and I believe it's 115 grain venom. Hitting nothing but hot air. Ah! Failure to eject. Okay, so that puts us over 250 on this, especially with the probably closer to 300 with the uh, hollow, uh, hollow point uh, test. So I shot 50 rounds of federal through it without a 115 grain federal without a problem. Uh, so I know it likes the federal red box. Like I said, I'd have to look through the footage again. I think it was all the Winchester and Venom that was causing failures to eject. But, uh, yeah, that was, uh, we're really close to 300 rounds. I'm going to Okay, so so now I'd say it's safe to say that I put over 300 rounds through it. I didn't get an exact count on ammo that we shot through it, but I would say we got at least 300 rounds through it by now. I believe it was all the malfunctions were Winchester and Venom. I don't think any of the other ones were causing malfunctions. So I guess it is a little bit picky on the ammo. I'm probably going to have to clean it up and I'm planning on probably doing the next video will probably be a thousand round review since I'm already at 300 and uh, I'll uh, mainly probably I'm going to try to mainly use the ammo that I know works to see to give it a fair chance for the thousand round review but uh, anyway I think that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. 
and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you own one of these, what your experience has been. Um, so, yeah, leave, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe. God bless, and I'll see you on the next one.